understanding airport operations is paramount for safety and efficiency. Key components within this framework are the airfield operating surfaces at airports with an air traffic control tower. These surfaces include the non-movement area, the movement area, and the protected area. Let's take a closer look at each of these common airfield surfaces used by aircraft, vehicles, and pedestrians. The non-movement area is the area used for uncontrolled vehicle operations and loading, unloading, parking, and fueling of aircraft on the airfield. The non-movement area often includes uncontrolled apron and ramp areas, as well as hangar areas. ATC authorization is not required to operate within the non-movement area, but heightened awareness remains key to safe operations in this area. As operators move from the uncontrolled non-movement area into the controlled movement area and towards the active runway environment, the potential for risk of an incursion or deviation increases. As a result, air traffic control authorization is required prior to entering the designated movement area. Non-movement area and movement area boundaries are often delineated with a non-movement area boundary marking on the pavement surface to help operators know when to contact the tower for proper authorization and entry prior to entering into the movement area. A non-movement area boundary marking is usually found along the edge of apron surfaces and at entrances to other air traffic controlled surfaces like taxiways. However, non-movement area boundary markings may not be found at every airport and aircraft and vehicle operators should be aware of local operating procedures and consult chart supplements when needed. Nonetheless, when approaching the non-movement area boundary marking, you will encounter a single solid yellow line first, followed by a single dashed yellow line. You must contact air traffic control for proper authorization prior to crossing these lines and entering the movement area. As a reminder, if no markings exist, contacting air traffic control for authorization to enter the movement area is still mandatory. If the movement area is entered without ATC authorization, you have committed a pilot or vehicle pedestrian deviation known as a surface incident, or SI. A surface incident is an unauthorized or unapproved movement within the designated movement area that does not include the protected area. The larger airfield movement area is the surface area of an airport used for taxiing, takeoff, and landing. The movement area typically includes taxiways and runways. Within the larger movement area is the protected area for each runway surface. The protected area is defined as a surface intended for landing or takeoff, including the area inside the runway holding position markings on paved taxiways or ramps and the designated runway safety area. The Runway Safety Area RSA, is defined as the surface surrounding the runway prepared or suitable for reducing the risk of damage to airplanes in the event of an undershoot, overshoot, or excursion from the runway. Office of Airports establishes standards for RSA dimensions based on specific criteria for individual runways. Therefore, RSA dimensions may vary for each runway. Runway holding position markings and signage are located on connector taxiways to the runway and align with the outer edge of the protected area boundary for improved airfield situational awareness and operational safety. Notice the protected area and RSA both include the grassy or unpaved areas surrounding the paved runway surface and between the paved connector taxiway surfaces. These grassy or unpaved areas are not marked for visual recognition beyond the adjacent markings and signage on paved surfaces, making it a challenge to maintain situational awareness for vehicles and pedestrians working and operating within the protected area. When approaching runway holding position markings, you will see two solid yellow lines followed by two dashed yellow lines along with co-located signage. At some airports, you may also encounter enhanced taxiway centerline markings that provide additional visual cues to alert aircraft and vehicles of upcoming runway holding position marking. You must contact air traffic control for proper authorization before entering the protected area. Once inside the protected area, you are inside the runway environment. Remember, the area between the holding position markings and edge of the runway is part of the protected area and portions of the runway safety area. Vehicles and pedestrians authorized into the runway safety area are not allowed onto the paved runway without additional clearance from air traffic control.
pilots, drivers, or pedestrians who enter portions of the protected area without authorization have committed a runway incursion, RI, even if no other traffic is present. Runway incursions, RIs, are any occurrence at an aerodrome involving the incorrect presence of an aircraft, vehicle, or person on the protected area of a surface designated for the landing and takeoff of aircraft. When you exit the runway environment, you meet the double dashed yellow runway hold position markings first. Here, you are expected to move beyond the double solid lines as you leave the runway environment if nothing is impeding your forward movement. Until you fully clear this line, you are still in the runway environment, which can cause a loss of separation with other aircraft, a go-around, or another type of runway incursion. If you are unable to fully clear this line, inform air traffic control immediately to avoid any potential runway incursions or operational disruptions. Once fully clear of this line, you must obtain clearance from air traffic control for further instructions in the movement area if such instructions were not provided prior to exiting the runway environment. The protected area and the runway safety area exist because aircraft operating on the runway surface sometimes leave the runway unintentionally, experiencing a runway excursion, or RE. A runway excursion is a veer off or overrun from the runway surface during a takeoff or landing due to pilot loss of control, an unstable approach, or a mechanical failure which can lead to personal injury, death, and property damage. These airfield surfaces exist to protect all airfield operators, but extra caution is warranted for approved operations within the protected area. Let's recap the transitional airfield surfaces, applicable markings and signage, and air traffic control authorization requirements for safe and efficient airfield operations. When leaving the non-movement area, operators must contact air traffic control at the single yellow non-movement area boundary marking for authorization before moving into the movement area. When moving in the movement area towards the protected area, operators must again receive authorization from the air traffic control tower before crossing the double yellow runway hold position marking and co-located signage prior to entering the protected area. Once inside the protected area, you are inside the runway environment. Drivers and pedestrians must gain authorization to work in the unmarked, grassy, or unpaved areas inside the protected area, while also requesting specific permission to enter the paved runway surface. We hope you learned something new to improve your situational awareness and reduce risky operations on your airfield.